Today, I'm going to describe one of the most important, one of the most common diseases of poultry that is termed as foul typhoid. Foul typhoid is a septicemic acute or chronic disease of the domesticated birds. This disease is distributed worldwide and uh, naturally occurs in chicken, turkeys, queen of all, peafowl, duckling and game birds such as quail, grouse and pheasant. It can cause disease in birds of any age but mostly it can affect the young birds. It can also affect the brighter breeder and brown shell egg layers. Causative agent of this disease is Salmonella gallinarum, which is a rod shaped bacteria having a lot of flagella which help them in their movement. This bacteria is historically very important and it was the cause of the death of the great Alexander who was a ruler of almost the whole world. Salmonella comes in two forms. One is Salmonella enterica and the other one is Salmonella bongori. There are 2400 serotypes of this bacteria. There are two serotypes of Salmonella enterica. One is Salmonella typhi which is also known as uh, Salmonella gallinarium and uh, it is the cause of foul typhoid. And the other one is Salmonella pallurum which causes uh, pallurum disease. Uh, the basic uh, differential diagnosis uh, of uh, these two diseases we will uh, discuss at the end. Transmission of this bacteria occurs through weakers, the wild birds and the visitors. It is also in, uh, transmitted from infected birds to their feces and their eggs and uh, ingesting of uh, contaminated food and water. The incubation period of, is for the five days. This bacteria is species specific as it has a horizontal type of transmission. It uh, spreads through uh, birds to birds. Clinical signs are different in young birds and uh, the older birds. In young birds, it comes in uh, per acute form which can cause sudden death, weakness, insomnia, anorexia, poor growth, pasting of vent with a chalky white excreta. The mortality rate is up to 90%. While in older birds, which are more than three weeks of age it can cause uh, lethargy hurdling under the booters wing droop shortness of breath decreased egg production here you can see the birds hurdling under the heat source affected with the fall typhoid the chicks showing droopiness and the white Event. Postmortem findings of this disease include enlarged and congested liver, spleen, and kidneys. Yolk sac retention may also occur with the yolk appearing creamy or caseous. Lungs and half heart have uh, white nodules. Pericardium may be thickened with yellow fluid. Gizzard, Zika, and large intestine have also uh, white nodules in this uh, disease. Joints may be swollen with yellow viscous fluid. Treatment of this disease is done by using antibiotics like amoxicillin, fluoroquinolones, septriaxone. But this treatment is not recommended as it will make the treated birds carry of this bacteria. So best strategy is to isolate and destroy the contaminated flock and uh, disinfect the fall runs and equipment. This disease can be prevented by improving the biosecurity measures such as uh, obtaining birds only from the disease-free breeders 
control of direct indirect contact with the birds and contaminated environments control of biological vectors and fomites control of uh, feed and water quality people transit control periodic testing of the birds and isolation elimination of the infected flock in united states of america it is mandatory to vaccinate the birds against salmonella so the vaccines against fall typhoid are available in some countries in the form of uh, activated and inactivated vaccines now if we talk about uh, the differential diagnosis of uh, fall typhoid we have got uh, pleurum disease which is also known as basically white diarrhea it is a, uh, mainly the disease in uh, young chicks and uh, fall typhoid is the mainly disease of adult chickens uh in adult chickens fall typhoid is causing uh, peracute deaths uh, sudden deaths and uh, drop in egg production reduced feed intake and uh, the pleurum disease in young chicks causing uh, chalky white diarrhea stunted growth the lameness while on the other hand fall typhoid can cause up to 100% mortality in the birds while the pleurum disease can cause 50% of uh, mortality here you can see the white pasty diarrhea in young chicks which is uh, caused by the salmonella pleurum and uh, this is uh, went pasty uh, which is uh, because of the deposition of urates and this is also because of uh, salmonella pleurum now if you have uh, this kind of uh, dropping which is greenish in color it is clearly indicating that the birds the bird is uh, off feed and uh, it is uh, because of uh, salmonella gallinarum which is uh, the cause of uh, fall typhoid and in this picture you can see the birds lethargic and this is uh, the adult bird and uh, this clearly indicates that it is uh, suffering from uh, fall typhoid liver in case of fall typhoid will have uh, uh, a lot of uh, f uh, necrotic foci and uh, it will be friable while in pleurum disease the liver will have uh, a lot of uh, white nodules on its surface this is all about the fall typhoid disease we'll come back with another topic very soon thank you